Spear fishermen are fortunate to travel to many remote locations around the world, but there are few quite as special as Madagascar. The Republic of Madagascar, or the Red Island, is the fourth largest island in the world, located off of the southeast coast of Africa. It is home to thousands of different animal species, many endemic to the island, such as the well-known lemur. Half of the world's chameleon population is also found in Madagascar. Madagascar holds a particular allure for many a traveler, and the Spear Junkies team was no exception. Landing in Nosy B, the starting point of the trip, the team couldn't have been more excited. Jake, welcome to Nosy B. Madagascar. Trying to keep the heartbeat down here, man. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> so when you travel a long way or when you travel to a destination like this where there aren't flights every day, if your kit doesn't arrive, you're completely stuck there. Uh, they didn't want to let us pay excess baggage. They wanted us to leave all our spare guns behind, which would have been an unmitigated disaster because there isn't a flight tomorrow. So yeah, anyway, happy to be here and got all our kit. Just watch you don't fly into a flock of local birds. We have two of everything, even two cameramen. So if one burns out on us, we can just use the other camera. <laughs> Nosy B, which translates as Big Island in Malagasy, is an island off of the northwest coast of Madagascar. It is known for its Ylang Ylang plantations and for being the most popular tourist hub on Madagascar. Hillville, the capital of Nosy B, is the starting point for many a spearfishing expedition. It is here the team met skipper Paul George on the 56-foot Royal Cape yacht Catherine to depart for Castor Bank. Now I'm excited today. We've got all our kit. We're almost on our boat. I think it's time for a cold beer. And uh, we can chill and enjoy our trip there. Welcome aboard, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Spear Junkies. This week we are in Nosy B in Madagascar, and we'll be heading out to the Castor Banks to hunt those giant dogtooth tuna. We've got now Cameron. Welcome to Madagascar now. We've got Jan Potkita, we call him Potty or Potshot, and my very good friend Chris Coates. Yeah, we'll be using some of Chris's tricks of the trade that he's learned over the years and developed to get those massive fish up. We'll also be hunting sailfish. There's great sailfish on Castor Banks. There's marlin, there's GTs, and uh, we'll be looking for some of those special ticks on our Spear Junkies t-shirts. The Castor Banks are around 25 meters in the shallower points, so we'll be diving between 25 and 30 meters or over 100 foot. So yeah, it's um, dangerous work down there. We'll be working in teams to make sure that we dive safe. And uh, yeah, really excited to get into the water and uh, share it with you guys. The Spear Junkies team was once again on a Coatsman organized trip. As Chris and Paul are both experts in these waters, there was no better duo to find the coveted dogtooth tuna, every Sparrow's dream. It wasn't long before the first doggie was spotted. In order to get a tick, however, the goal was to find a fish over 40 kilos. Learning how to shoot and land these fish correctly is always top priority, as these fish are infamous for eluding even the most experienced spiros.
Chris soon had a spear in his first dogtooth tuna, and he soon understood why they called it the devil fish. This relatively small fish pulling harder than he could handle. To add insult to injury, it looked like the tax man was onto them already, but the first dog tooth lost to hungry gray reef sharks. Hadi got his first fish of the trip, testing out his homemade 1.3 inverted roller gun. A huge rainbow runner, generally considered bait fish, but delicious eating and a good way to test his gear. Having shot this fish at full range, the spear didn't make it through, but was dead accurate nevertheless, a promising sign of things to come. We caught up with Paul to find out more about Castor Bank. Uh, we are currently in Nosy V, Madagascar, which is northwest um, Madagascar, right at the top, surrounded by quite a few islands. The Castor Banks is about uh, 55 miles out to sea. The Castor Banks stretches to about 110 miles, uh, which means the Castor Banks is actually about 70 miles long. Uh, we'll be starting on the southern side and then working our way up, and then hopefully from there jumping across to another bank called Intermediate Bank. The team were having a fantastic first day. In the crystal clear, calm waters, the team were getting back into shape, stretching their lungs and testing their equipment in this gin clear environment. Some of the team not accustomed to shooting fish in such pristine conditions. As always, the Spear Junkies team was hankering for fresh fish for their dinner, and the shallow bombies of Castro Bank were offering up a smorgasbord of delicacies. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos as much as we enjoyed making them. Here's a playlist over here with some more of the Spear Junkies videos in them. Please subscribe so you catch the next ones as they come out and hit us up a like. It really does help with Google. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.